All right, guys, this is a short tutorial to show you a little bit about how to start Project 3 in Photoshop, which is known as the Collage. To start with, you're going to click on File, New. We're going to call our project Collage, and your last name. Go ahead and make the width 1920. Make sure you choose Pixels. It will be set to Inches by default. 1080 is the width, Pixels. Resolution 72, and for the background contents, we're going to choose transparent. Then click OK. You'll have a transparent background. The first thing you need to do with your transparent background is not much. You really need to go open one of your pictures that we resized using the batch resizer. I'm going to click on File and Open. I'm going to browse to my folder, Photoshop, Pics, Collage, and make sure you don't import the, or open the old pictures that were too big, now we're always importing from the JPEG folder, which is the resized pictures. I'm going to scroll down and choose a picture to open. Once the picture is open, it is open in a new tab. Here's our collage. Here's our tab. I'm going to make a copy of the background. And there are two things you need to do to each picture. One is you need to add a stroke, an inside stroke. To add an inside stroke, double click on the outside of the layer. Once it opens up, choose Stroke. Pick a color that you like. I'm going to do red. Remember, you can adjust the slider for the area of the color you want, and then simply move the little circle to the exact color you want and click OK. I'm going to make the stroke about 10, and I'm going to choose Inside Stroke. Make sure the opacity is at 100 and click OK. The other thing you need to do is add a filter. I'm going to click on Filter. I need to make sure I'm on the correct layer, which I am. And you can choose any of these filters that are already in the drop-down menu or go to the Filter Gallery. Once the Filter Gallery is open, you can simply click on all these triangles and try different ones that you're interested. This one is called Stained Glass. Adjust the cell, maybe the border thickness, just kind of experiment with the changes in the different controls that you have to fine-tune the effect. This is how you get better in Photoshop. Then go ahead and click OK. It applies the filter. To move it, just like we've done in the past, make sure you're on the correct layer, drag it up to your photo collage, pull it back down, and let go. To resize, we know that it is Control-T, the Transform tool. Resize it and move it where you'd like. The other thing you need to do, other than adding 10 images to your collage, is add a signature. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to click on the Paintbrush tool. Keep my paintbrush at about 29, and go over here and create a signature. Once you have your signature created, you're going to add one thing to the signature, and that is a style. We haven't worked much with styles, but if you look in the right-hand corner, you can see some styles pre-selected. I always use the text styles because this is text and you want it to look good on text. So I'm going to click on my Move tool, choose the drop three, arrow, three small lines here next to Styles, and choose Text Effects. Pick a text effect you like. When you get one you like, simply Control-T and resize it put it in a interesting location so everyone can see it. When you're done with your 10 images and your signature, it might look something like this. I have my 10 pictures. Noticed I was a little creative. I have different sizes. I have different stroke colors. My signature overlaps. Some pictures overlap. Be creative. When you're done with this, you're going to save it as a JPEG image to your folder. Open up your collage folder, save, make sure you're on the maximum of quality, and you will upload this to the Google Classroom. That is it. 